am getting attacked. I'm I went at the farm. Dang it, where I hunt. It's my grandparents' farm. I haven't been here in a while, but I will tell you this. The Japanese beetles are torturing me right now. I pull out and there's like 500 on my truck, and I'm not exaggerating, there's probably 500. I'm gonna set up my camera. Trail camera, I came out the other day and changed the card on the camera, and since then it has not sent me any pictures. So I'm gonna change that real quick and see why that's not working. And then I'm gonna set up a second camera that's not a cellular camera. Sorry, I am just getting tore up by these beetles. They are not fun at all right now. I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, I was gonna get my, my other camera out of the swamp. I can't get that because I forgot my waders. I wasn't thinking. I wanna grab my waders. Right there is my camera. And I cannot get to it because that, my friends, is about three feet deep. And all that water came in about the last week, I think. Because I was out here a week and a half ago and I could walk over there just fine. All that rain has came in the last week. It does it every year. I don't know why I keep putting cameras there. A couple years ago, it didn't do it and I missed a really good opportunity to shoot a nice buck. I just kept my stand over there even though I haven't hunted in the last three years because it's been flooded every single year. I try to stay away from this far fence row over here because there's houses. I'm not gonna put up a stand over here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a good spot, uh, find a good tree that I can mark, and then I, when I come out, I can use my climber and hunt with my climber. My, <clears throat> my climber is actually more comfortable than any other stand I use. I can go up and down the tree as high as I want, or stay as low as I want. So it's like an adjustable deer stand. These beetles suck, and now they're all in my truck because the three seconds I had, I opened my door, to get this stuff out, 20 of them flew in there. They look like ladybugs, but they are not. That is a Japanese beetle. They're not ladybugs whatsoever and they bite like crazy. I'm gonna put this camera over here. So I'm carrying some corn out in front of my camera. I know it's like, it's like almost a week I'm getting torn up. It's almost a week past opening day. It's not that I'm getting late to this, I mean, I guess technically I am. I have too much exposed skin for these freaking beetles. But it's not that I'm late to this, it's just, it's 80 degrees out right now. So I don't know what's going on with the camera. I assume it's just because I changed the card and the card that I put in there might not work. I really wish I wanted to grab two bags. What's going on with the camera? It uh, was working fine, and then I changed my card. When I changed the card, it hasn't worked since. These bags aren't even heavy, it's just they're slipping through my hands because they're plastic. There we go. But it doesn't help that I have asthma and I'm out of shape, like always. anything to my phone. I've rebooted it three times. I'm gonna try rebooting it one more time and see if it works. It seems like it would send signal as soon as I reboot. I mean it says it has five bars on the screen. I'm just gonna go and hopefully it sends me a signal. It did take some pictures because when I checked took some pictures but it didn't send them. But it showed the settings on there the first time I'm supposed to send the pictures at nine o'clock. So I'm gonna go walk in front of the camera real quick. So I set it, I changed the settings so that it should send me a picture at 325. Walking in front of the camera. Walk in front of the camera. All right, that should have detected me by now. I know it did, but. So the camera in the UP, we have been getting pitch pictures. I'm a little worried because the 12 volt, the solar panel came unplugged somehow. With the solar panel coming unplugged, now it's working on the double A's. On the app, it says that there is like 70% battery left. On the app, it also says there's 80% battery left on this one. But when I get into the camera, it says there's 27% battery left. So I'm afraid that the camera in the UP is gonna shut off pretty soon. Just hope for the best, I guess.
I know I'm out of focus. I don't know if I'm out of focus. This is the second time I shot this bow this year. I'm like dead on at 20 yards. I shot the other day and I was shooting it. You no, know, 20, 30, and 50. My groupings weren't near as good as they are today. I was a little shaky the other day when I was shooting. I don't really know why I was so shaky. I, I just wasn't feeling good. But I'm really noticing a huge difference. I'm able to hold the sight right on the, the bullseye a lot better than I was the other day. Feeling pretty good. I know like when a deer's in front of you, it's a little bit different, you know, shooting experience. Or I gotta say I'm pretty excited. Even though I really haven't seen much on camera, I'm, I'm confident in my shot. 20 yards, I'll move it out to 30, do some shooting and, and 40 and 50. I do have a 100 yard pin, but I'm not gonna shoot 100 yards with a bow. I don't pull a lot of weight. I pull, I think I pull like 52 pounds, 53 pounds, something like that. It's not a lot. I don't really feel the need to pull a lot of weight. I'm not like a big, strong guy. I, I can't pull a whole, I wouldn't be able to pull a whole bunch of weight anyway. So to me, like, things I've learned over the years and watching hunting shows and stuff is it's more important to be able to pull a smooth draw than to pull a ton of weight and you got to put your back into it and you got to lift the bow up above your head and so on. If you can just pull it straight back, it's less motion at the deer see and you can get a clean shot. You know, everybody has their own theories, everybody, but for me, I shoot accurate with 52 pounds, 53 pounds, whatever it is. Um, I've been shooting it since I was a teenager. I don't feel the need to pull anymore. And as I get older and my bones get weaker and my muscles get weaker, I should be able to keep at least the 50 pound weight uh, going. I'm gonna shoot a couple more and then I gotta go get Hendrix and take him to guitar lessons. His name is Hendrix after Jimi Hendrix and he has his own channel called Hendrix the H-Bomb. He does Legos, he's more into Legos than he is in, in guitar, but he's getting better at guitar and I think the more he gets better, the more he enjoys the guitar. So I'm happy for that. I ended up taking Hendrix to his guitar lesson dinner. I was hoping to go to this little rock dam and do some fishing real quick, but I don't think I'm gonna have time. My wife's not feeling good, so I'm probably just gonna end up having to stay home. I guess that's it for the vlog today. It was pretty short, sweet, I guess. I don't know about sweet, but it was short to the point. And so thanks for watching, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, you know, all that good stuff. I guess that's it. So, I gotta go.